medication. I woke up and I can't move my elbow, really. Uh, like, if I do try moving it, um, it, if I do try and move it, like, my elbow joint is just hurting so bad, so I have heat on it right now. Hey guys, so I'm back from um, a walk I took with my mom. We walked just a little over two miles. Um, we might be going back out with a family friend later. Um, my arm is feeling better, but I think it potentially could just be because I'm taking medication for it. Um, so we'll see. I just had to pay my student loan. Um, I was able to push it off a, like for a six month period because of health stuff and this is the first in six months I have to pay it so I'm hoping that I can put in for another six months and hopefully before then I'll be working um yeah I'm gonna try to get coffee too my stomach has been a little iffy today but I deserve coffee so I'm gonna go get it but that is pretty much what is up right now guys Thelma left me um she let me uh, hold her yesterday. I think I might have mentioned it. Now look who's here. I'm going out with some cat food. Look, she's meowing. She wants me to come out. I'm going to go out. I'm going out, Thelma. I got you, baby. I got you. I know, baby. Come here. Come here, come here Thelma. Yeah, go for it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I just kind of let her do what she wants to do. So I'm not forcing trust. And she also was not doing this until a few days ago. So it's really nice because it makes us know that she's calm around us. Like she can kind of like show off her stomach. Then she's not, she's not as nervous being around us, which is really, really nice. I'm grateful. She's so sweet. Guess who's making cookies? Hopefully she likes these. Get a little treat. Um, it's like the type that come in like a brick that like they're already sectioned off. So you literally just put it on a pan and put it in the oven. So I'm making cookies. Highlight of my day. Even though I can probably only have one. Woo. Cookies are not happening. I couldn't find the cookie sheet for the oven, so can't make them. I was excited to make them for her because she loves sweets, but I'll just uh, make them the next time I see her. And I think I'm gonna be leaving pretty soon. So not not feeling too great today. Very potty today, and I'm not usually potty, so it's all good. Oh well. <laughs> Above all else, that is essential for life. Water. Okay, so I did debate showing this, um, but my channel, um, you know, a lot of it revolves around my illness, and um, I'd like to be 
upfront about even like the grosser or not as interesting or weird aspects of it. I don't want to just ignore that stuff. Um, so what comes with a lot of digestive conditions um, is a lot of lower um, GI pain like rectal and anal pain for a multitude of different reasons and it changes for you know everybody. So there is this treatment you can do that kind of reduces the inflammation and reduces the pain. It's called a sitz bath, S-I-T-Z bath. This is what it looks like. And you basically, depending on what your issue is, you, you fill it with either cold water or hot water, depending on what you need. I use cold water and um, you basically just put it over the toilet and you sit on it for say 15 minutes, allow it to reduce the inflammation and you know, get everything, you know, kind of as calm down as you can. So what I've never done before that I'm going to do tonight tonight is um, I'm going to be using essential oils with me, and I'm going to drop five drops of three oils and in cold water and I'm going to see how that helps me. So the first one being tea tree oil. Second of course being lavender because why not? Lavender is good for everything and frankincense. So the smell is probably not going to be like ridiculously good, but you know, I definitely, if you're the type of person that has pain like this ever, go for it. Um, it's used for a lot of different things. It's used for these types of problems, vaginal problems. Um, they're given a lot to people after they have kids. Um, because of all the inflammation, you know, in that area. Um, so it's not just my condition that uses this. This could help a lot of different things, and I think it actually helps with urinary pain too, but don't quote me on that. All right, so I got the five drops of the three oils in, and you just lift up the toilet lid and just set it down there, basically, and just sit, so. I have a YouTube video I'm going to watch while I'm doing that, and then once the YouTube video is done, maybe I'll do two YouTube videos and I'll just get up, clean myself up, and go back to my room and start cleaning, but um, I wanted to talk openly about this stuff because I know it's something that's like still kind of taboo, um, but um, I just wanted to be honest, so this actually helps so much more than you um, would imagine, but anyway. I will see you guys on the other side. So I've been on a little bit of a, what's it called? Um, a groove. Um, so far, I've cleaned up so much. Like all of this stuff. You guys, if you saw it before, it was messed up. It was bad. Hold on. This I've organized like a very specific way. Like these are all my like hoodies and three quarter zips and um, crew neck shirts. Then these are my t-shirts. These are my long sleeve shirts. And then depending on the type of other shirt, it's separated into four different piles. Um, so I just have to, like I decided, cause tip for anybody who's cleaning a mess, um, get everything off everything else, clean off everything, put it in one central location, and then work from that location, put everything back um, wherever it needs to be. Because basically what I'm doing now is throwing everything up here, um, and I'm having, you know, like, this has been cleaned off a whole bunch. I've cleaned up a lot of the stuff on the floor, a lot of the stuff over here. So, like, gather everything, put it in one place, and, um, then just break down as you're going, just break down that pile. So I'm just hoping my body will hold me until I'm pretty much done with this so then I can just go to sleep. Um, so that's what's up. Okay, so a, l a literal five seconds after taking my last clip, I was just like, I was moving something and was just like, uh, -uh. so I just let it go. Was gonna push myself, didn't, let it go. I'm in bed. I peed my last time. Before I go to sleep every night, by the way, I call it the last pee. This is 
such a, um, like, raw, like, I don't even know what to call this vlog, um, but before, because I'm hooked up to IV fluids for 12 hours, um, on my pump, um, very routinely I end up needing to pee just because I'm on a pump, it's continuous, you know, whatever. Um, it's not like I'm taking a lot in at once and then, you know, doing a lot of, like, output or whatever. Anyway, so, before I go to sleep, I always pee, like, right beforehand so that, like, it sets me up for, um, like, less, uh, less bladder issues, fewer bladder, bladder issues. Um, anyway, so I just peed, basically, is what I'm telling you, and I'm sorry that today has been quite a interesting vlog. Um, quite an open and unedited taboo, I guess. But, got my fluids, got my body, got my blanket. I'm gonna be trying another blanket, or n not another blanket, another pillow. I'm hoping that maybe it will help my body, which I don't know why it's been acting so weird. So I'm wondering if maybe holding this would be something useful for my body. So we'll see. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope everybody is doing okay. Also, definitely subscribe if you are down to seeing some of my crazy life every day, and give me a thumbs up if you did like the more raw kind of like gross like tips. Because I'll be down to to really, you know, go in in and actually really talking about this stuff and like the the things that nobody talks about. So. Let me know if that's what you guys want, um, and let me know if you guys have any questions. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.